Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. So I just found this clip art on Google and I printed it off on my printer onto just a regular piece of paper and then I transferred it over to one of these transparency sheets. Just lay the sheet over top, trace all the lines and then when you're done you have a transparency of the picture we just printed. So you're probably wondering how we go from this 8.5 by 11 piece of paper to an image that fits the entire window. Well, we have to do a little bit of arts and crafts. So I'm going to show you how to build your own overhead projector with a cardboard box. This is just a basic cardboard box that I found in a recycling bin. And I cut a hole in one end to start with. And that's the same size as the transparency that we just traced. So this transparency is going to fit in this open spot right here. It's closed up on all the sides and there's a hole in the bottom which is where I reach in and put our light source. Okay, so I know it doesn't look like much but this is all you need. We've got the transparency taped to the front in that hole that matches the size and then I've got a hole in the box where I'm just gonna slide in my light source. So I'm holding my phone and I've got my flashlight app on and I'm just gonna put it in the back of the box here so it directs the light through the transparency and if we look over on the wall now that projection might not be the right size so if you want to make it bigger all you have to do is move the light source closer to the transparency inside the box so if I move it closer you'll see that the image gets bigger on the wall and if I go back and forth with the phone I can change the size so now the next step is to transfer this image onto a piece of plastic so that we can transfer that image onto the window. Now, if you don't want to paint a window, but you just want to have a cool image on your wall, then you would simply direct this at whatever wall you want to paint, trace the image onto your wall and fill it in with color, and there you go. But for this video, we're going to show you how to transfer it onto your window so you could do a window painting. So now the next step is to hang up a sheet of plastic. So I've taped the plastic to the wall. Now this plastic was just something I bought at the hardware store. It's actually a drop sheet for when you're painting. I just cut it into a smaller section and taped it to the wall. And I'm going to turn on the projector again and our image is going to show up on the plastic. So here's our image now projected onto the plastic sheet. All you have to do now is get a Sharpie and trace the image onto the plastic. I have just taken a Sharpie and I've outlined the entire image onto this piece of plastic. Didn't take very long at all. Just want to keep the plastic nice and tight against the wall so you don't get any weird lines or wrinkles. And that's all there's to it. The entire thing now is on this giant sheet of plastic. So just to make things a little simpler, since I've already painted on my big window, I'm going to use this other image that I printed and traced and show you how to do it on a window I haven't painted yet. Here's my plastic sheet with my image on it and I've just taped it on the inside of the window. Now some people like to paint on the inside and some on the outside. I prefer the outside just for cleanup and I'm now going to go outside and trace it onto the window. So I'm outside looking at my window and I can see my plastic stencil through the glass. And now it's just a matter of tracing all the lines onto the window. I like using this acrylic paint. It's easy to come off and it gives me pretty good color. I do also do a white undercoat, which I'll show you later. But just to get the black lines onto the window, this is what I use. Again, all you do is just trace the lines on the outside. Now I'm left-handed, so I start on the right side and work my way to the left. Otherwise, I end up smearing all the paint with my hand. So you just find the lines and you just start painting your lines. So I just quickly painted the outline of one of the pumpkins onto the window. You should be able to make out my black outline. Now I'm going to fill in everything with white. I find that it's really important to have a good solid white undercoat. Otherwise your colors end up being too translucent. For my white paint I use interior latex paint. You want something that is water soluble. That's really important. This is slightly off-white, but I got it for free so I'm going to use it. Uh, and it works really well with doing our undercoat. Our other colors are going to go on top of it, so the fact that it's a little bit vanilla isn't a big deal. So now we're just going to paint around all the black. 
You want the paint on a little bit thick because otherwise you're going to see a lot of st strokes. So you can see my pumpkin starting to take shape. I've painted in all around the black lines. Still have lots to do, obviously. But you, you can see the idea. So once that's all been filled in with white, then you can lay your other colors over top. So going back to these guys as an example, you can see how I painted the entire thing with that vanilla colored paint first. And then I went back and laid my colors over top. The vanilla actually worked out really well because it's kind of a skin tone, and so I left it like that. Now, these lines on the mummy I painted afterwards. I felt confident doing that with just these straight lines on the mummy, but as far as all these other outlining around the pumpkin and his face, that I painted each section. I left my black lines so I could see them, and then I laid my color on top. And I think it came out pretty good. You can just totally have fun with this. Here's the scarecrow. Again, I printed it. Put it on a transparency. I've got uh, snowman and Santa Claus. Here's a ghost I did. And then what I did is all of these were transferred onto those big sheets of plastic. Here's my big stack of all the different stencils I've made. And that's how I took this picture. I made my own overhead projector and transferred it onto my window. So have fun and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.